Hello there! Welcome back to my channel, Non Bespoke Elegance. And last time we talked about the gray color Wall Street loafer from Karuchi. And we know it's not a go to shoe for uh, if you're considering loafer. I definitely suggest you do not buy that. And here I got exactly the same model and uh, different color. This one is in cognac, and uh, that one is in gray. Uh, although they pair with different style, you can dress with this casual, you can dress with that very formal, but actually these two shoes are not made for your comfort. And uh, although they seem to be very aesthetic, but uh, please, please avoid this brand. Um, okay, that's pretty much uh, for the introduction and uh, we dive into the review. First look, this loafer is is sleek and gorgeous. It's a horse bit loafer, but uh, you can see from the side look here, the toe part is actually curving up and uh, away from the ground. That is usually a sign of a poorly made shoe. First touch, the leather quality here is uh, pretty poor. It's stiff and not pliable. This is a horse bit loafer with a horse bit metal stick decoration here. The toe shape is round, classic. That's a very uh, commonly seen toe shape. The apron here, I have to be honest, is pretty uh, nice finished. It's a very significant apron here with nice stitch and very clean, neat finish. And we examine the uh, inner side look here. No arch support whatsoever. You can see there's n almost no curvature inward to give your foot more comfortable feeling. And uh, here it's a single stitch strap to connect those bit here. That's the piece of leather connect the horse bit to the upper of the shoe. There's also a single stitched seam to add more visual detail to the shoe. The back is actually very no shape, rear quarter. And the gap here is pretty significant. And there's an extra leather piece here to connect the uh, two rear quarters together. That's usually not seen in any high-end shoes. Moving to the outer side look here. Again, you can see the significant gap of the heel. The heel is uh, no tapering at all. The side look is pretty sleek, but actually, again, the leather quality is so stiff and not pliable that would uh, build a significant pressure on your foot, especially your ankle and your toe part. Again, you can see no curvature here around the arch. And the lining here, inner lining here is made out of uh, a genuine layer of the pig skin. It's very coarse, you can see here. It's coarse and nothing to do with neatness. You can see this part at the very back of the lining where your heel is. That is almost like a cork, like a wooden cork. It's very coarse and uncomfortable. Here you may find some stitches at the upper like the other one, the gray one. You may think it's Gucci welted stitches to connect the upper to the outsole. Again, you can see from the bottom there are also stitches, but they're not Gucci welted shoe because the distance you can see here is about 5 millimeters between each stitch, between the holes here. But at the upper, you have a very narrow stitch, very, very uh, high stitch density here like one millimeters. I'll show you guys more uh, detailed picture later. So they, these are all fake threads, fake stitches 
to make the shoe overall looking like a Gucci Welding shoe. But it's actually、uh, the outsole is actually glued to the upper. Here you can see again, as I mentioned earlier, it's very coarse, low stitch density here at the bottom of the threads, but at the top here you can see the stitches are more、uh, more dense, high stitch density here, about one millimeters per each stitch. Again, here it's five millimeters per inch stitch, so that is definitely not agree with it. Agree with each other, so that means they are all fake. They are fake threads, fake stitches. And here, I'm trying to、um, pairing this loafer, bit loafer, with some more formal pants. This one is a gray chino. You can see it's a gray、uh, suit pant also. You can say that, but、uh, this. This loafer is definitely a, a bit、uh, business casual or business formal-ish loafer. All right, that concludes the analysis and review of this beautiful Karuchi Wall Street. Although it's seemingly very great and.、Uh, Very aesthetic, but actually it's a poor constructed shoe and with very low quality leather. So、uh, if you could, please use all the means you have to avoid this shoe and do not buy it. Do not buy it. Do, and do not buy it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, yes. So、uh, all I'm talking about and all this channel, not bespoke elegance, talk about is investing quality as low the price as you can get. So、uh, with with the minimum pay, with the minimum cost to your bank account, we break into good deals and try to avoid these bad deals. And、uh, okay, that's pretty much it for today. And、uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye.